Peace and blessings, spiritual warriors, sisters and brothers. I'm going to test some water here, as you can see. There's a lot of different videos going around, people testing water, and I felt that I just needed to do this one because I'm seeing different results. Um, one of the reasons we have different results is the different types of tests people are using to get their results. You have the pH drops which are the least accurate way to test for pH. It just leaves too many things up in the air. Um, then you have the pH strips. pH strips are okay, but you still have to use and guess, you know, in the range where your results are. So there's another way of testing a lot of people are not using right now, so hopefully a lot of people will start using this, which is a digital pH reader. This gives a most accurate reading um, for pH levels of water. So we're gonna take a look and test these waters and see what's, what they reveal. So we're gonna test Crystal Geyser, we have Evian, Fiji, Mountain Valley, Starkey, Iceland, Eternal, and Volvic. Now in the article that I wrote on water, I didn't use Volvic, but uh, it was at the store at Whole Foods, so I said let me pick it up and test it. There are two waters that's in the article that I didn't wasn't able to secure. That's Icelandic and Wa'akia. So I didn't have those. I can always you know, add those on later. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna test get into testing the water. I already poured out the water here, so all I have to do now, use the digital reader. Get some readings for this water. Alright? Let's get let's get it on. What? Let's get it on! Okay, so I'm going to start this test off with the crystal geyser. Insert the digital reader into the water. I have to zoom in a little bit here. Let's see what it starts, what it ends with. It's 7612, 764 zoom a little bit here so we could say this the reading gives us 7.6 7.65 we call it 7.6 crystal geyser crystal geyser actually reports the water to be between 7.1 and 7.4 so this is better than what they promote. So now I gotta take this out, rinse it off in the water, and go on to the EVR. Shake this out. Rinse it off and on. And it is still water. Shake off the water. And go on to the next one. It's the Evian. Let's zoom out a little bit right there. Let's go and get this reading. Insert this in the water. So it's leveled off at 7.23. Zoom in here. You're going to have to twist your head a little bit. Twist that head. Twist it, twist it. What? <laughs> so you can see 7.23. Evian um, claims the water to be between, no, at 7.2. So they're on point. So let's go on to the next one. Get this water off. Shake off that water. Got to rinse off the digital meter. In the distilled water. Shake off the excess. Pull back here a little bit so we can see what we're going to do next. We're going to test the Fiji.
All right, let's get this Fiji test on. Assert the digital meter. The digital reader. Zoom in here on the Fiji. Let's see what they say here. It's like 7.18. 7.1, 7.2, Fiji claims 7.7, .7. so though it's alkaline, it's far off from what they claim, alright, so we're going to go on to the next test, let me pull back a little bit here, so we can see what we're dealing with, it's the Fiji, got to shake off this water, Rinse off the, the digital reader and distill water. Got to shake it off. Pull back here. Which one are we going to do now? Mountain Valley. Mountain Valley! What? <laughs> Let's see. Let's test this here. Mountain Valley. Looks like 7.27. Zoom in. 7.27, 7.28. All right. Pull back out. Mountain Valley claims 7.8. So that's far off from what it claims, but it's still alkaline. Shake this off. Rinse this in some distilled water. Shake that off. All right, let's go on to the next one. Starkey. Starkey! What? Starkey! Whoa! Look at Starkey go. Starkey ain't no joke. I think you got a little glare up on there. Let's see. You can zoom in there. Might have to cut off some of this light so you can get that reader. What does that say? There you go. 7.59. Oh, my bad. Not 7. Bad, my bad. <laughs> 9.5. Oh, 9.6. 9.6 for the Starkey. Starkey claims 9.6. So we right on point with Starkey. That's some high alkaline water. What? Starkey, like Mountain Valley, they're both in glass bottles. So those are the better bottles to, to um, have water in. Then the plastic bottles. Um, the plastic ones are all here. They're all PET plastic. So they're the better plastic to use. But glass is better. It's better for the environment. And the Starkey is 9.60. Who? Who's that guy right there? Who's that guy right there? Y'all know that guy? Tell you something. Better get up on it. Let's see. We'll move on to Iceland. So let me take this out here, shake this off. I'll rinse this off. The distilled water. Shake that off. Let's get ready for the Iceland. What we have here? Testing the Iceland water now. Still moving up. Eight point three nine, eight point four, four two, three. So we got eight point four three. Iceland is eight point four three, eight point four four. 
So we could stay around there, might move up a little bit, one, one or two more, but 8.45, so we're going to stay right there. Iceland is at 8.45, Iceland claims 8.8, .8. so it's not exactly 8.8, .8, but it's in that range, so that's good too. Alright, so let's get that out of there, shake it off. Rinse this off. Shake off that water. Put out here. We got eternal now. Right. Test eternal water. Alright. Let's drop that in there. Zoom in here. Turn so far is 7 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5
So I came back up. I'm in New Jersey, back in New Jersey now, and I got a couple of bottles and I tested it. And as you can see, you know what the reading is. You no know, 7.7. I use a digital reader. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe you know the different sources they use might have different pH levels. Now none of them are supposed to be acidic though. So somebody brought it to me and said, well, you know, in Florida it's so hot, maybe it has something to do with the reading, the pH level being uh, lower. I don't know, it could be. Um, I just know that that is what happened, that it was 6.5. So if you want to use Crystal Geyser, I would suggest um, check to see what your water source, what your pH is. All the ones that I tested up here in New Jersey, I've tested maybe 10 bottles at different times. They've all been alkaline. They've all been like in the range you know, 7.2 to 7.4. So uh, for me, this is a good choice for me. Um, it's cost effective and I drink water all the, all the time. I know a lot of people talk you know, about water, but I don't think that, you know, a lot of people are not drinking the amount of water that they're supposed to be drinking or that they should be drinking. Um, and to drink, say, spend like $3 for one liter and then to make a gallon to $12 a gallon sorry it's a little bit too much money for me so this right here is what I promote for myself this is what I get for myself and I tell people to check out this is not an exhaustive list so there's other ones out there go and test your own I would suggest going and get a pH a digital pH reader this is the most accurate reader go then get this and test your water Check out the Crystal Geyser, the Crystal Geyser, because basically, you know, all what I have to test that I have up here, it's all been alkaline, and hopefully your source will be alkaline also. But invest in a pH reader, a digital pH reader. It's more effective, more, more, let me say, accurate, sorry, more accurate than using the pH drips and using the pH drops. All right? Peace and blessings be with you. What, what? Who that? What? Keep that mind open. Peace and blessings be with you.